Hey everybody, this is Jerry from Vet Tech Bytes, and today we're going to be going over an intro to veterinary medical math. Uh, I'm going to go over everything from how to calculate out injections from milligrams from a concentration of mix per mil, and I'm also going to be going over how to calculate how, mu how much oral meds they need off of a milligram per kilogram dosage, and take that all the way to how many tablets or mils we need to send home with the patient. So thank you so much for joining me, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with oral meds, um, something we've probably all had to deal with at some point in time, sending home with patients. So let's say your doctor wants Clavamox 12.5 mg per kg POBID for 14 days. So whenever we have milligrams per kilogram, so 12.5 milligrams per 1 kilogram, you need to multiply 12.5 milligrams by your weight. So 12.5 milligrams times 10 kilograms because per one kilogram is times 10. Uh, so 12 and a half times 10 is going to be 125 milligrams. And fortunately for us, Clavamox comes in 125 milligrams. So by this logic, we need to send home one tablet to be given twice a day for 14 days. So one tab, P-O-B-I-D-X, 14 days. Now we need to figure out how much to actually send home with a patient without giving them too much, right? So if we know we need one tablet two times per day for 14 days, one times two times 14 equals 28 tabs. So now we know we have to send home 28 tablets total for the patient to get one tablet twice a day for 14 days. All right, let's do another oral medication. Uh, let's do Rimadyl, Carprofen. It's one of the most common ones ever, right? Um, but most doctors don't actually give you a mix per kg dosage. They just give you a milligrams and you just need to fill it. So let's say we need Rimadyl. Uh, let's do 37.5 mg P-O-B-I-D for 10 days. Right? Um, but from what I understand, Rimadyl doesn't come in 37.5 milligram tablets. Um, but it does come in 75 milligram tablets. Um, so, in fact, it's exactly half of 75. And so, anytime we're trying to calculate out a total dose from milligram, uh, the easiest thing to do is divide what you need by what you have. So, take what you need, divide it by what you have. So, we need 37. 0.5 milligrams and we have 75 milligram tabs. So if we take 37.5 divided by 75, we're actually going to get 0 0.5 tablets because it's half a tab. So we're going to give a half tablet once a day for 10 days. So we can do the same thing we did before. So 0.5 tablets times twice a day times 10 days and that's gonna give us a total of 10 tabs because we're using half tablet twice a day, so one tablet per day times 10 days. And honestly, that's pretty much it when it comes to calculating out oral medications. Um, just remember to divide what you need divided by what you have, and then that'll do you right. If you end up kind of between two tablet doses, um, just, just ask your doctor. They'll kind of tell you which way to lean because um, every doctor is different. But right here, this is pretty much the basics of what you need to know and to taking a dosage into a dose and a dose to an entire prescription. But let's kind of talk about injections now, injectable medications, because a lot of times our doctors will just give us a milligram uh, of a medication that we need to give, but the concentrations for every medication are different. You kind of have to, uh, you don't have to remember them because they have to be on the bottle somewhere, but it's a good thing to try to kind of memorize the most common ones just so you can know it for yourself. So let's say our doctor orders Serenia, 13.7 milligrams. Now we know that Serenia is 10 milligrams per mil, but how do we kind of get that into just a mil dose? So same thing we did before, we're going to divide what we need divided by what we have. So we need 13.7 milligrams divided by 10 milligrams per mil. Milligrams kind of cancel out, and so you effectively just divide 13.7 divided by 10, which is going to be 1.3 three seven mils now we can exactly administer 1.37 mils without using two syringes and no one's going to do that 
So for cases like this, we will have to round up since the second number after the decimal is higher than five. So we're gonna just round up to 1.4 mLs. So we have to give 1.4 mLs of Serenia uh, to get 13.7 milligrams given to our patient. All right, so next up, let's say our doctor orders 0.76 milligrams of hydromorphone. Uh, but hydromorphone comes in a two milligram per mil solution, typically. Uh, so again, we need to divide what we need divided by what we have. So what we need is 0 0.76 mg divided by two mg per mil, and that's gonna get us 0 0.38 mils of hydromorphone, get 0 0.76 mg. All right, now let's do one final one to kind of bring everything we've done into play. All right, so let's say we have a 3.7 kilogram dog we need to give a 1 mg per kg Serenia injection sub-Q and then send them home with Clavamox 46.3 mg POBID. Alright, so Serenia 1 mg per kilogram. So 1 mg times 3.7 kilograms. It's literally just 1 times 3.7. And that's going to equal 3.7 mg because it's just 1 times 3.7. And so. <clears throat> We know that Serenia is 10 mg per mil. And so what we need is 3.7 milligrams. What we have is 10 milligrams. So 3.7 divided by 10 is going to equal 0 0.37 mLs. So that's how much we're going to give sub Q. Next up, we got to send our patient home with Clavamox. So I need 46.3 milligrams. Since that is enough for the liquid Clavamox, I'm going to go ahead and send it on with a liquid. So Clavamox 62.5 mg per mil is our concentration. And so again, divide what we need divided by what we have. So we, we need 46.3 milligrams. We have 62.5 mg per mil. And that's going to get you roughly 0 0.74 mils as our dose. And so we now know that we need 0.74 mils given twice a day for 10 days. So next we need to calculate our total volume to send home with the patient. So we need to send home 0.74 mils times two per day times 10 days. So we know we need to send 0.74 mils twice a day for 10 days. And if you multiply 0 0.74 mils times twice per day times 10 days, we will equal 14.8 mils. So that's perfect. So our patient will get 0 0.74 mils P-O-B-I-D, 10 days. Number 14.8 mils. And it is that easy. And now you're a pro. All right, and that is it. Um, believe it or not, you're pretty much a pro at basic medical math now. So I hope you were able to take something away from this video. Um, I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing. I uh, really appreciate it. And so that way you won't miss it on anything coming in the future. I'm Jared with Bites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.